Once again, you could recognize this as classical, nice, normal salivary gland tissue. You could see some ducts between labials. You could see some ducts within labials. You could see fat. You could see acini. And because most of the acini look like they're serous rather than mucus, you could probably also say this was a parotid gland rather than a submaxillary or submandibular. Nice histology lesson. However, if we zip back a little bit, we can see that within the salivary gland, there's something else, and it's a tumor. And uh, it's so well encapsulated, it's so well differentiated with various types of cells, you know it's a benign tumor. It's the second most common benign tumor of salivary gland. The first most common benign tumor of salivary gland is called a mixed tumor or pleomorphic adenoma. This second most common type of tumor, however, grows in a papillary fashion. It has a lot of cysts in it, and there's a lot of lymphocytes. So if you know how to put that together in Latin, you'd probably call it a papillary cyst adenoma lymphomatosum. Papillary, because these are all papillae. Cysts, because large portions of it are cystic. And lymphomatosum, because there's a lot of lymphocytes in here. And remember, cyst adenoma, because the cells and the glandular portion is and looks and behaves totally benign. So now that we have correctly remembered to call this a papillary cyst adenoma lymphomatosum, we... Uh, might have an easier time remembering the word warthin, W-A-R-T-H-I-N, than papillary cyst adenoma lymphomatosum, because these are also called warthin tumors as well. And the jury is split. The old guys, actually almost everybody still calls them warthin tumors because most people can't pronounce the papillary cyst adenoma lymphomatosum portion. Uh, second most common benign tumor, of salivary gland, and thank you very much.